Hello there, everyone. Welcome to my Facebook Live. My name is Dara Walter of Pickled Peppers Creative Cafe at picklepepperscreative.com, the tongue twister. I am a, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I come to you on Thursdays to share something crafty. So, welcome. Welcome. Come on in to Crafty Thursday. I'm so happy that you're here. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me for a live and allowing me into your space for a little bit of time to be crafty. I see my friend Amy is here. Hi, Amy. Happy Crafty Thursday. Thank you so much for being here. How are you? Hello, hello. Hi, I'm waving back. I see my friend Beth is watching. Hello, Beth. How are you? Happy Crafty Thursday. So today is February 24th. Um, it is Thursday. Like I said, Thursday is the day that I like to um, come and create with you um, and make a an interesting crafty project. I hope it's interesting. <laughs> it is always to me and I love sharing with you. So thank you so much for being here. Beth says she's doing good. Beth, fantastic. Glad that you're doing good. Um, Amy says pretty good. She always waves at her phone. <laughs> I always wave at you guys too and I'm waving at my device, whichever one that I'm using. So yay. All right, while we're waiting for people to find us in the news feed, I'm just going to connect to my other device. It is a monitor that I like to use um, while I'm creating. It allows me to see my desktop so I can see what I'm showing you guys while I'm creating. So um, I just took it in and to move things around a bit just to make sure that I can see and I can see my hands. So pretty good. Has anyone been doing anything crafty? Actually, I have a little bit to talk about. So why don't we go ahead while we're waiting for people to, to jump on and find me in their news feeds and um, I'll talk for a bit and then we will get started. I have a super fun project for you guys tonight. I really like it. Here we go. Am I crooked? Oh, just a little bit. Let's see. I think that looks a little better. There we go. Just a bit better. Okay. So, like I said, on Thursday, I come to you with a crafty project or two. Tonight is no different. I have something super cute for you. Um, I will create the project. I will walk you through it, give some pointers about stamping along the way or about creating, hopefully to make stamping easier for you. So when you come in, say hello. Um, let me know how your how your day is going. If you're watching the replay, let me know that as well. I just have um, a quick reminder for you. I know that I've reminded you the last couple of times, but we have four more days until celebration is over. So I've been reminding you the last couple of weeks that celebration is going on and it does come to a close pretty quickly here. So um, I wanted to just flip through the brochure really, really quickly. We're not going to spend a, a lot of time on it, but I'm just going to um, show you what's there so you don't miss out on your favorites or if you see something that you might like. I just want you to know that it's there. Um, so there's a stamp set here. With Celebration, you get free product from this brochure at $50 increments. So this is a um, $50 Celebration choice. There are the There's the Daffodil paper, which has been super, super popular. I see my friend Beth is watching. Hi, Beth. Welcome. Happy Crafty Thursday. I'm so happy you're here. Um... The Daffodil Afternoon Designer Series paper. That was pretty popular. 
um, the Catching Butterflies, which is one Stampin' Up, or I'm sorry, one celebration choice, excuse me. And it has that, in fact, I showed you, we made a card with this sweet little girl from, from that. We did um, a couple of cards. I think I did three or four, actually, uh, around or before Valentine's Day with that sweet little girl on it. So, um, driving by, which has some fun little vehicles on it. There is the rainbows with the sunshine and rainbows designer series paper. It coordinates with the rainbow of happiness. There's um, there are dies and a stamp set that goes along with it. This has been wildly popular, and actually we're going to be using this tonight. It is the Simply Marvelous 6x6 six six Marbleized um, Designer Series paper. It is gorge. I love it. And I haven't had a chance to use it, and celebration is almost over. So we're going to be using it tonight. There are, oh, and it's one, one celebration choice. Um, the Otters, which were really popular, that's one choice. The Friendly Hello, which is really, really, I love this. It's a bundle. It's two choices. It's the designer series paper and the stamp set. Um, the Special Moments, it's two choices. There are, are a lot of sentiments. It's only sentiments there, but they're really nice. Very versatile, if you haven't seen that. And then um, the host set, um, the Calming Camellia. I do have a card that I'll show you um, tonight that I made with the Calming Camellia just so you can see how it stamps up. And then the last thing really quickly is the starter kit, which is always a fantastic deal. It's $99 and you get $125 worth of product of your choice. And during celebration, you can choose two extra stamp sets um, from either of the two remaining catalogs, not from the celebration, but from the current mini and from the annual catalog. So there is that. All right, why don't we go ahead and get started? I just want to remind you really quickly that everything that you see me use tonight will be available in my online store. If you find something that you really love, and there will be a link in the description above after the live. So it is a clickable link um, if you would like to. Hello there, Marie. Marie is joining us. Hi, happy Crafty Thursday. I'm happy you could make it. All right, so let's talk about what we're using. And I do want to show you that Simply Marvelous Designer Series paper. So let's go ahead and grab that as well. All right, I just wanna thumb through it so you can kind of get an idea. It, it's marbleized and the other side is, um, I don't know, it just has this, I guess, watery looking pattern. You see that? So let me tell you the colors that are there. There is balmy blue, basic gray, um, Blushing Bride, Bumblebee, Coastal Cabana, Flirty Flamingo, Gorgeous Grape, Highland Heather, Misty Moonlight, uh, Pool Party, Smoky Slate, and So Saffron. Or those are the colors that coordinate with it. So look at this. Isn't it beautiful? This just, we are using, this is the one we're using, and if you know me, you know why. It looks like water. On one aspect, it kind of looks like a satiny sheet, but it looks like water. And so in our world today, that's what it is. It's water. And so we're going to be using that piece, but here are the other colors. There we go. So, oh, we missed the Highland Heather or Gorgeous Grape. Aren't these really pretty? And then here's the reverse side. So they all have that um, water or wet looking pattern. So super, super pretty this paper is. I see my friend Julie's watching. Hi, Julie. Happy Crafty Thursday. I'm so happy that you were able to jump on and watch us tonight. As I am with you all. I'm always so excited. When you guys show up, you just don't know. My heart goes pitter-patter. 
I get a big smile on my face. <laughs> I love to be here creating. All right, so let's get to it. So this is um, a fun fold, another fun fold card, but it's really, really pretty. Oh, let's grab our piece of designer series paper. Remember I said we were going to use the watery, the watery blue. So this is the pattern that we're using. And I am also using, I have some tools here tonight, y'all, that I'm using, but I'm using the layering circle dies. If you have, if you're going to recreate this card and you have circle punches, um, you would need the one and three quarters of an inch punch and the um, circle punch and a two inch circle punch. We don't carry circle punches any longer. I love them. Um, but we, the layering circle dies are wonderful as well. And there are like, I think 10 of them or, or eight of them, um, in the layering circle. So any, anyways, again, the two inch and the one and three quarters of an inch. So you'll need those. And then I have some vellum card stock. I have my favorite thing you guys know. Okay. I have lots of favorites, but um, the medium daisy punch. So I'm using that with Misty Moonlight and Pear Pizzazz. So I have one of each of those. I have a, I want to say this is the one and three quarters of an inch circle in basic white. Um, I went ahead and did the die cutting off screen so you didn't have to watch me do that. I have a piece of basic white cardstock that is eight by five. I've scored it at two and four. And then we have our card base, which is Pear Pizzazz. It is eight and a half by five and a half, and I've scored it in half at four and a quarter. So this is our card base. Let's go ahead and burnish it. Get a nice good crease going on it. Oh, I see my daughter is watching. Hi, sis. She jumps on to watch me sometimes. She told me, Mom, I watch you a lot of times. I just don't say anything. <laughs> so she's, I'm going to get her. One day she's going to be crafty and create stuff. Actually, she wouldn't say that she's crafty, but I catch her making stuff all the time. So I'm telling her secrets. And then finally, I have a piece of, um, a scrap piece of the pear pizzazz that we're going to use for stamping. All right, let's, let's get started. Um, so we have our card base. I'm going to open the card base up and I'll show you why in a minute. And I'm going to bring in my Stampin' Tremor and grab, we need to cut, oh gosh, I don't want to lose my little pieces here. Let's put those aside. We need to cut our six by six piece of designer series paper, um, as a mat to fit the card front. So it is going to be four by five and a quarter. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to cut the four inch side first because we need to use the remainder. So I'll cut a four inch piece off and then this remaining two by six inch piece, we're going to set it aside for a moment because we are going to use that. And then let's go ahead and flip this around to the other side and we need it to be five and a quarter. So there we go. This little piece is waste. So we'll set this aside for a moment and we'll go ahead and cut the other piece. So that remaining piece we need to be five and a quarter by one and three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the one and three quarters. It doesn't matter which way you cut it once you've gotten this piece. But initially when you're cutting your six by six inch piece, you're definitely going to want to cut the four inch piece off because we need a one and three quarter by five and a quarter piece of designer series paper. And if we cut it in any other direction, we may not have enough left to do this. And we don't want to waste if we can actually get everything we need from one piece of designer series paper, right? All right, so this is what we have. So let's go ahead and bring in our adhesive. And I am, let's put this aside. So I've opened up the card base 
and I am going to adhere the designer series paper to one side of the card base. It's going to be the front. Also, when I adhere it, I don't want to have adhesive in the center here because we're going to die cut through both pieces. And um, we're going to use at least one of the pieces that we die cut through. So you're only going to want to put your adhesive on the outer edges of your designer series paper mat and then go ahead and adhere it down. Leave kind of even borders around the side. Hi, Chenny. I see my friend Chenny is watching. How are you? Welcome. Yay for you that you're able to come and create with us tonight. All right, so this is what we have. Now, the next thing we're going to do is the two inch circle or the two inch punch, whichever you're using. We're going to cut through both layers or punch through both layers, the card base and the designer series paper base. So um, this I would need to run through my die cutting machine for the sake of ease in the camera, I've already done it. So let's go ahead and put this aside. So we are going to cut, and I've already done that as well, a basic white circle from the smaller one and three quarters of an inch circle. So we have three circle die cuts there. Let's put the extra side here. All right, so the circle that we cut that came from the designer series paper, we can save that for a later project. We're not going to use that. But we are going to use the pair of pizzazz and we're going to layer the basic white piece onto the pair of pizzazz. But we need to stamp on this first. All right, so for now, let's go ahead and put our card base to the side. And we'll save our little piece here. And we'll do a little bit of stamping. So the stamp set I've decided to use, so I, oh, I've forgotten. I told you I used the Medium Daisy Punch. So here's the Medium Daisy Punch. And um, I am using the Dragonfly Garden Stamp Set. So I picked something that I thought would look nice with water. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we used the, um, gosh, we used something nautical. We used ships. So today we're going to use dragonflies because usually that's where I see them dancing around, around water. So it's the dragonfly garden. Um, I'm going to use the dragonfly, this one, I think, and a sentiment from this and it also has a punch that goes along with it so let's go ahead and start our stamping let's bring in stamp and pierce mat just so that I don't make a mess everywhere in this stamp set there are some little butterflies so I'm going to use the little butterflies there thank you guys so much for the for the hearts thank you thank you Let's see, what did I do with the little butterflies? Oh, they're here. So I'm gonna use the little butterflies and I'm gonna bring in a couple different inks. I'm using Old Olive and Misty Moonlight. So let's start with the Misty Moonlight and the little butterflies that are in the stamp set. I'm going to ink them up and then I'm going to take some of the excess off by stamping on a scratch piece of paper. I'm scratching on my grid paper and I want the butterflies to be a little bit lighter than the regular color. So you see that? And then I'm gonna do it one more time. Let's stamp the excess off. And then um, I want them to go in a kind of a different direction. There we go. Okay, so 
that's it for the butterflies. Let's set them aside. We will use the um, we'll use the Misty Moonlight again for the sentiment, but let's put it aside for now. And let's go ahead and mat our basic white stamped die cut circle. We'll mat it or adhere it on top of the two inch pear pizzazz circle. Okay, now we're gonna set this aside for a minute and bring in the piece of eight by five, let's move the mat out of the way, the piece of eight by five basic white cardstock and remember I scored it at four and two. Four is halfway so we're going to fold it halfway and burnish our fold and then on the shorter score mark we'll fold it outside and we'll burnish there as well. And then we're going to adhere this to the inside of our card. So be careful that the fold that is folded outward is on the outer edge of the card. That's where that needs to be. And then we'll just flip it over and add some adhesive. You could use your all-purpose or multi-purpose liquid adhesive or double-sided tape, whichever you prefer. I like both of them, but I'm a little more nimble now that I have better use of my arm after my shoulder surgery um, with the tape runner. Although um, the surgery gave me an appreciation for the multi um, use liquid glue. Okay. I'll just give this another burnish because I want it to, to lay pretty flat. There we go. Now, the remaining piece of designer series paper that we had, remember we cut, we cut it to one and three quarters of an inch by five and a quarter. We're going to adhere it. Oh, it's a little bit long, it looks like. We cut it at five and a quarter. Let's just see if we did that. Oh, maybe it needs to be at five. Let's try that and see what it does. Oh yeah, it does need to be at five because our basic white is shorter. So it's one and three quarters of an inch by five. And we're going to adhere it right to the um, outer fold of our basic white um, card insert. And we'll just kind of leave um, an even border. I'm an eyeballer, so I'm not going to measure unless I absolutely have to. And I don't feel like I absolutely have to on this piece, so there we go. So this so far is what we have. Now, you see when the card is closed, you can see that inner fold. That's kind of important because we're going to adhere our layered circles to that fold like this. Do you see? And we're going to do it with Stampin' Dimensionals. So I'm going to Sprinkle about three Stampin' Dimensionals while the card front is folded. So did you see that? That way we know where the placement is. And 
and let's go ahead and remove the adhesive backing. I'm going to turn this back around towards me so I can see here. And right inside of that, that opening that we made with either your punch or your die cut, we'll just adhere that circle. All right, so this is what we have. When you open your card, whoops, there we go. You see? Okay, now we're going to do just a little more stamping. So let's bring in old olive and I have the piece of um, scrap pear pizzazz and we're going to stamp the dragonfly right onto it and I wanted to use a little bit darker of an ink so that the dragonfly showed up a little better. Oh, thank you, Beth. Beth says that's super cool. Thank you, Beth. I think it is super cool. I love it. I love fun folds, and I really like this one. I like, it's called a peekaboo card, and I like that. All right, so we're going to punch our dragonfly, and you, you don't have to use a dragonfly. I think any um, shape, or theme that you wanted to use this card for, you totally could. I'm gonna turn the, I'm turning the punch upside down so I can see the outline of the dragonfly and that way I make sure that I get the entire dragonfly that I punched. And this is what we have. And then the vellum cardstock I'm going to bring that in and I'm going to punch another dragonfly with the vellum cardstock. So let's go ahead and punch another dragonfly. There we go. And then I think we're done with the punch. I'm going to close the ink up too because I don't want to make a mess with it. All right. And then I only want the wings of the dragonfly. I don't want the body because I have a body here already that, that we um, stamped and punched. So I'm just gonna cut the tail off, just gonna snip it off, and I'm gonna snip the head off. And it doesn't re really matter um, to me how it's shaped. I just kind of followed along the grooves and cut it. So let me show you up close. This is what we have. And then I am going to add a bit of the multi-purpose liquid glue right to the center of the body here. Oh, I didn't want to get it on his head, but that's okay. Not a whole lot. And then I'm going to line the leaves, or the wings, I call them leaves, the wings right up with the wings on the body. And then just kind of press it down for the glue to hold. So this is what we have so far. Looks kind of wonky now, but it will look good in a minute. I promise you. While it's drying, I am going to bring in my favorite gems in the whole wide world. They are the Holiday Rhinestone Basic Jewels because you get five colors there. So there's the blue, the lighter bluish green, green, red, and gold. I love these. I use them all the time. We're gonna deck out the body of our little dragonfly here. Oh, let's see, I'll just use the scissors. And I think, um, let's go ahead, I'm gonna use the blue ones. So I'm gonna put three of them right on the body. I'm gonna start just below the head. Give that a good press and 
We'll put another one there. So I'm gonna put three in a row and I kind of want them touching. And I'll show you in a minute what it looks like. There we go. So that's what I have now. And then finally, I think that's dry enough that we can fold the wings forward. So I'm just going to hold the center here and kind of fold. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for the likes. And I'm going to do it again here. Just kind of hold the center of the body. I think it's good and dry, though. I didn't put a whole lot of adhesive on it. So kind of fold the wings up so they are, so it looks like the dragonfly is fluttering. All right, so let's put our jewels aside. Now, um, I think maybe I'll use liquid glue for this part again. We're going to adhere our dragonfly right over the stamped butterflies that we did. So I'm just gonna, I'm holding the wings. You see how I'm holding by the wings? Kind of like you might do if you were um, holding on to a real dragonfly, I don't know. I'm not sure that I've ever touched one. I am really weird. I love butterflies and butterflies can land on me and I'm okay. But I am, I am not a bug lover whatsoever. So I usually run from them. And I love to look at dragonflies, but I don't want them to touch me. Um, just because I'm a little strange, <laughs> no reason. All right, and then I'm gonna put them maybe kind of towards the side a little bit. And press down, to make sure my glue is down. All right, so, so far this is what we have. Isn't that the cutest? And then we're going to finish up with adding the flower down here for a little bit of embellishment over our sentiment. Now for the sentiment, I have um, a piece of basic white cardstock and um, it's about three eighths of an inch and I want it to be by four inches. Oh good, I already cut it at four inches because it's going to go right along the bottom here like this. Okay, and then I am going to use the sentiment, you are an inspiration. It is here. So the sentiments here are, you are an inspiration for a true friend. Um, may good things grow all year long. And then thank you for your kindness. There are some wild flowers there than, uh, of course, the little butterflies that we used. All right, if you are stamping this, you probably would want to stamp on a piece of basic white cardstock and then cut it at 3 eighths of an inch or half an inch or however wide you would like for it to be but so that I could save time, I actually cut the piece of cardstock first and I'm going to stamp uh, on the right edge. And I'm going to try my hand at getting it on there kind of straight. Oh, very good. I've had a lot of practice. There we go. Isn't that cool? All right, let's, um, I think we're done with the ink. So let's go ahead and put it away because I am messy with open ink. I don't know how you are, but I know how I am. And that is, for some reason, my fingers are like magnets to open ink. If you ever misplace your ink and it's open, call me. I'll find it for you, I promise. My fingers are like honing, honing devices or something. All right, let's go ahead and adhere our sentiment mat. And it is about mm, maybe, maybe an inch or so from the bottom edge there. So this is what we have. 
Synthes Hue, and then we're going to put our daisies here. So let's go ahead and bring our two daisies in. And remember I had the Misty Moonlight and the Pear Pizzazz. I'm going to put the Misty Moonlight on, on top. And I could use a dimensional for this, but I may just, I may just put it on flat. Nope, nope, can't do it. I'm gonna stick a dimensional right in the center there. So let's grab one, see how good I am. So I'm gonna put it on the pear pizzazz because I, I want the misty moonlight flower on top. So this will allow me to stagger the petals to make the flower a little more full. Let's see. Can you can you guys see the backing for <laughs> for the uh, dimensional on my finger? I've tried to flip it a couple of times and it won't come off. It's like glitter. You open glitter and it gets everywhere and it doesn't let you go. Look at that. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> okay. And then we're just going to adhere this right down. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bring in that piece of scrap pear pizzazz and we're gonna use a half inch circle punch and we'll put that right in the center yeah let's do that we'll grab a little bit of multi-purpose liquid adhesive and then we'll adhere our flower and then our card is done let's hold this for a second I love that the multi-purpose glue, it sets up really quickly, but it does, it is wet for a small amount of time. So if you're, you're needing to move the element around that you're, you're adhering, you have time to do that. Fun. Okay. Let's go ahead and let's just add a little glue to the center and we'll pop this right down on our sentiment on our sentiment layer, I should say. We'll hold it for a second. And there we go. There's our surprise peekaboo. Do you guys like that? Isn't this paper so beautiful? I love it. And it looks like just nice blue water that our dragonfly is floating over top of. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Julie. So very cute. If you wanted to add a sentiment, then you would stamp your sentiment before you adhere your basic white layer to the card base. I like to leave my inside blank so that I can use the sentiment when I'm ready to use the card. So I didn't stamp it, but you would stamp yours beforehand if you wanted, or you could do like I like I did and um, leave it blank and fill it in when you're ready. But you are an inspiration, really cute. So I hope you guys like this. And then I told you that I wanted to show you, let's see, I hope I have them there. Um, Oh, Amy, you're going to need the measurements. You know what? I will try to get them up on my blog and then post it here on my business page so that you're able um, to get the dimensions. It's really simple and a very cute card. So here is the pool party. And actually, this is that common camellia. Let me show you that. That was the hostess stamp set that is in the celebration catalog that has two celebration choices so it's this large flower and here's what it looks like stamped and up close I deckled it by thwacking <laughs> um, I used my reinker and a little water and then my water um, water brush aqua brushes aqua painters and just kind of dabbled the um, splatters but it's really pretty and the designer series paper is super, super cute. So I wanted to show you that as well.
Okay, that's what I had for you tonight. So I really hope that you like this card and that you make it. And if you do make it, tag me. Um, tag me in it and show me um, that you've made it. That would make my heart triply happy. <laughs> you guys make me happy just by being here, but that would make me triply happy. All right, so let's go ahead and turn up so we can say good night. And I'll try not to make you dizzy. You are beautiful people. Okay. Well, thank you guys so very much for being here. Thank you for allowing me into your space to create with, with you. It makes my heart happy to be able to create with you. I hope you like tonight's project. Remember, um, if there's anything that you did like here, I will have a description to my online store or a link to my online store in the description above. Boy, thank you guys so much for the hearts and the likes. Thank you for being here. Don't forget celebration, four days left. So celebration is over February 20, 28th. So there's four more days to shop if you want to browse through the catalog. Thank you guys so much. Have a fantastic weekend. Um, I will be here with you next Thursday. Same time, new pretty projects to show you. So have a great weekend and I hope to see you then. Bye guys.